hey guys welcome to today's video we're doing something a little bit different today we will be attempting to turn this antique dresser into a bathroom vanity so buckle up this one was quite the gem a little bit damaged here but we're gonna polish her right up and of course as with any antique furniture you've got to be prepared to do a lot of cleaning i mean when a piece is over 100 years old the dirt and grime will just be into all the nooks and crannies so you gotta be prepared to bring in that elbow grease and get her really cleaned up here we are just trying to remove our mirror the mirror was definitely the culprit when it came to some of the damage on the top so we were being extra careful Of course, we got to work removing all the drawers and all the hardware so that we could properly clean inside and out. You can see us just working as a team here, trying to get as much done as we could. You gotta be patient sometimes with these older pieces. They take a bit longer to restore since they do need some repairs and just like I said, so much cleaning, but they are worth it. These pieces, it really just warms your heart to see them get a second chance at life. We'll of course be reusing all of the original hardware since these are the original pieces that came with the, the furniture. We'll just be giving them a good cleanup. And moving on to the top here. So the sink that we got was actually from Ikea. And the Ikea sinks do come with this handy little sheet here that will show you the exact size and shape that you need for your hole on top of your furniture. So this was really handy. We just had to pop that sheet on there and trace the exact hole that we needed. And here we are just trying to dry fit it, make sure everything looks right. Gotta make sure it's perfect. So because we still wanted the drawers to be functional, Julian's just gonna be cutting into them here. But of course, this requires a lot of measuring to make sure we get the exact shape and size that we need. We did have to do this for multiple drawers, but we only filmed the process for one of them. But you do need to cut into those drawers to make sure you can fit all your plumbing. You just reuse some of the pieces here to kind of make a little box shape. That way the drawer would still be functional and nothing would fall out. And we did add some little pieces just to make sure it's all secure. So while this was left to dry, it was time to start sanding. We'll be sanding just the top of the dresser as well as the drawer fronts, basically the areas that had visible damage on them. We really wanted to clean them up. You will see that Julian is holding the sander firm up top, but he is never pushing down. Make sure not to push down on your sander. Here, starting off on the drawers. And finally, once everything was all sanded, it was time to stain. We found a perfect match stain called English Chestnut. It could not have been a better, more perfect match. You should always use whatever instructions come with your products and they all vary a little bit. And after one coat of that, it was time to apply a polyurethane, just applying liberally with a brush here. You can really see the grain and everything pop. We are using like a glossy finish here since these antique pieces we're always done with a glossy finish. 
Once it was all dry, it was time to reapply all of our hardware. And now here is a quick peek at the before of our bathroom makeover that we did. And here is the after. So as you can see, we did new floors, new paint, as well as a new light fixture. But of course, <laughs> the star of the show is the dresser. We hope you enjoyed watching this as much as we enjoyed working on it. And as always, thank you so much for watching.